Oh, and welcome to the Clockwork. I am Dr. Time Wizard with another episode of Let's Play Game Dev Tycoon. In our last game, we in released a sequel to our hunting simulator, Deer, and labeled it Bears. Bears. Um, we, you know, it was, it was a good one. It got good reviews, made us some money. We decided to get a publishing contract to make a time travel game in any genre and in hopes of boosting this number because the more fans you have the better your game sell and the game keeps telling us that medium games which we've been building sell better when you have 100k fans so that tells me that we're behind so we have to boost it and we're going to do that now so let's release the game Due to increase in experience, people are getting more money, more money, more problems, as they say. And I can get special time, well, special training. Uh, and we can research branching story if we want to do the whole Bioware thing. Oh, we got reviews. Okay, goody. Click. Bloop. Oh, no, I don't like that one. No. Oh, but we worked so hard. We're going to lose money on this. Oh. Oh, guys. Ugh, I am not. Uh, well, we're putting this game away, and nobody's talking about it. Uh, under the stairs. Oof. Yeah, that's a that's a problem. That is a problem. Mucho mucho problems. We're losing fans, and we got a penalty because we didn't. Oh man. I thought we could make it get at least a six. We've been doing so well. That's sad. So sad. Oh, and I got a big booth. Oh, man. So everybody's going to see our crap game. Oh. So much pain. Oh. Man. Actually, all those people saw a crappy game. Oh, I, th I thought we were going to be like, yeah, this is great. And then, buh. Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll invest in the office. I think this moves us up to, yeah, the third office. Oh, so much pain. So much pain and anguish. Got red walls, I like that. Since G3 has become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we have decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs from around the world can compete with each other. I, I don't remember this being in the original, my original playthroughs. Maybe I'm just forgetting it. Hmm. Cool. This would be a great way for game developers to learn something new. You are welcome to join in at any time. There are no prizes, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills. Alright, so we got a little game. Looks like a Nintendo over there. Time travel and adventure is good. Engine doesn't matter. Alright. Okay. We got a little whiteboard, kitchen area. And the Sega Dreamcast, which I love because Shenmue, come on, who doesn't like Shenmue? Power Stone, Crazy Taxi, uh, Ready to Rumble Boxing, oh, so, ma so many good memories. Yeah, so we're, this is basically going to be awesome, but it won't sell well, sadly. Alright, so let's put the that turd behind us. And we're going to research better AI... We'll research a new topic. I, I really don't like it. We're going to go with, I guess, UFO. And then click. And we'll let that queue up. Man, that game. I wanted it to be a hit. I wanted to get 7 million and get a new person. But that's not happening. Completed that. Why are you so slow at researching, man? Speed it up. What did they say? Quiver? H2 Quiver? Hmm. Boss fights back here. Cool, edgy. Uh, was this a rabbit? Oh, Hedgehog is off. <laughs> Time to sell out. Yeah. 
we sold out and it sucked. <laughs> it was such a bad game. Oh, let's let's see how bad a game it was. So we got a 2.5 on that. Let's go back to our, if I can remember what our very first uh, horrible mistake. I think that time to sell out might be our worst game yet. And so many people came to see it. Uh, uh, yeah, that's our worst game yet. Even worse than uh, the game that shall not be named. You can read it for yourself, but just don't speak it aloud or else it'll show up. <laughs> Alright, let's try to redeem ourselves and we'll develop a new game. Uh, we'll do we'll do a you know what, when in doubt we'll make a sequel. <laughs> Sadly. It's the only thing that I can think of right now. We'll do, <laughs> yeah, we'll make a sequel to that. Oof. Uh, we'll do a sequel to, uh, dum da dum 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 yeah, we'll do a, a surgery to Cutman, or a, a surgery, a sequel to Cutman, our surgery simulator, yeah, click, uh, we'll do this on the PC with our clockwork engine, we'll call it uh, uh, we'll call it, uh, Medic. M Medic Man. Uh, we'll start development. Yeah, it's Medic Man. It's a little guy. Think like, just think like Mega Man, but dressed up like a medic, I guess. <laughs> Oh man, I misclicked, guys. This is gonna, this is not a medium game. Ugh. Yeah, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Oh man, they're all working on it though. I should. Well, who knows? If it does better, we'll start releasing small games. Maybe we're not the size of that, you know. I'll bring this down because we don't really need it. We'll leave those up. Yeah, it's just oof. I should have clicked medium, but they said you need more fans. We lost fans from that big pile of garbage we released. Ugh. So it just oof. Just, oof. Sound. Leave graphics up. Click that. Uh, all right. Oh boy. Hopefully this is not terrible. Yeah, we don't want your underhanded evil, your dark magic. No, I don't want to play war games. If I want to play a war game, I'll make one. I have been getting the itch to play Call of Duty. I was thinking about maybe doing a, a Let's Play of that. I'd have to buy it though. That's a problem, like, money right now is tight. Because I don't make money off these Let's Plays. Because... You know, I just started, but one day maybe. I will finish it. Got 15 hype on it. Didn't break any records, but, you know, you can't always top yourself. You should always try, but shoot for the moon, but, you know, don't be disappointed when you land on, like, Utah. Unless you don't like Utah, then you could be disappointed. I've never been there. Couldn't tell you. So we're get. I'm level five. Look at that. I'm like boss hogging it. Oh, we got new research. Oh, we're so doing 3D graphics. Oh man, you don't even know. Matter of fact, research that up. Real quick. Man, we are back to 2.8 million. I don't like that. This game needs to be a hit. Oh, uh, no whammies. No whammies. Yes. Oh, you guys don't know how glad I am. We could have just been like in the trash. Could have very well doomed. Every time we, every time I have a loss in this game, like that last, uh, whatever it was called, uh, time to sell out. I just think, well, this is it. We're gonna go bankrupt. 
which that's probably what the game wants you to feel, because that's probably how it feels like making games. Look at that, two tens, an eight and a nine. That's great. Don't pretend to understand it, but I think these guys need some vacation time. Clockwork Games recently released a sequel to their game, Cutman, the newest game in the series titled Medic Man, was met with great responses. Critics praised that Medic Man had a newer engine. Yep. I think Cutman might actually be, now that I'm thinking about it, because I was talking about Mega Man, he might actually be a character, one of the bosses you fight in Mega Man. Comment below if you're a Mega Man fan, because I know of it, but I don't. I never really played him. But, uh... Comment below if Cutman is in the Mega Man games, and I subconsciously rip them off. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that, selling money. Do you guys need vacation? Yeah. Vacation. We all need vacation. If she's done with that, I'll have her. He had special training, right? Did I not? Did I not? Oh, wait, hold on. Another memorable game by Clockwork Games has been released. The game shines with technical excellence. Clearly they know what they're doing. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as Medic Man Julian Rickstall or Julian Rickstall. I don't know why I said Julian. I don't know. I think I was watching a movie last night with a guy named Julio in it. Gamer Pro said that. Thank you, man. That's awesome. There's a clear trend. Ooh, you know we're making an RPG, baby. All right, he had some special training though, right? Boost. We need to fi Okay, so these need to be 500. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she's like, I want to go on vacation, man. Got to research them graphics, yo. All right, so we're going to send her on vacay. Still making money on that. That's, yeah, generate that game report. Look at that. 9.25 is so much better than what that last turd in the punch bowl was. Can we get a new topic? Can we get something good? Yeah, sure. Why not? Transport. And you see if we can research anything important. Um, let's do... Let's do this just to get it off of there. I always feel like there's not enough time to research things. Because the game does end. It does have a, like a cutoff point. I think you can play a little after it, but like after that, the points don't matter. Yeah, so... But, yeah. Ooh, yeah, the Dream Vast by Venna has been released. Medic Man sold. It didn't sell as much. Like, we were getting, I think, this was two on a couple of the games. But it still sold pretty good. It redeemed us. <laughs> I'm, we might just keep doing small games until we can get that... We, you know, we, we earn back the fans we lost, but... You know... Can't always do that, right? Two months of Venet Oasis? Alright, yeah. So let's go and click... No. I need a new game. It's going to be small gonna call it we'll pick a topic it'll be a hmm it'll be a science fiction RPG and yeah you know I up until now I've been avoiding the sort of doomed systems you know these these uh, Sega systems because they were doomed to fail from the start but I got a lot of love for the Dreamcast so we're gonna go ahead and pay the 250,000 just to be able to use it and we're going to use this it'll cost us 60k just to develop on it but I got a lot of love for the Dreamcast and you know a shout out to it I, you know shout out it just sounds so dumb shout out to the Dreamcast we're going to call this uh, uh, future and yeah, we'll just be generic future quest and it'll be rated E for everyone. Now let's make it mature. Why not? It's probably going to doom us, but... You know. Can't always be hit. Sometimes you got to go with just what your heart is feeling. We'll get the... Nah, we'll get the smaller one. Just because, uh... Just because we're... 
2.4 million. I'd like to not have my lungs ripped out by this game. The linear story. Uh, oh yeah, I was thinking we had to assign people, but it's a small game. Yeah. Might have been going about this all wrong. Might have been doing medium games and suffering for it, but who knows. We'll crank this up. Story and quests all the way up. Just to go all the way up in general. Raise that a little bit. Our first Dreamcast game. Ooh, guys, this is exciting. How much time we got left? Hmm. I think we might be... Well, we'll go a little bit longer. I, of course, forgot to set a timer once again. Hi, this is Kurt. Curtin Gillen from Gamers. I got word that Clockwork Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project? Yeah, let's get some hype going. What is your expectation regarding the success of Future Quest? Do you think that the game will be well received? We'll hype the game. We'll, we're gonna we're gonna Peter Molyneux it. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Watch, it's just gonna crash and burn, and then I'm gonna be sad. I'll blaze that up. I don't know. Why I said blaze that up. That's not a thing that I. Oh well. Uh, yeah. That. Or is this all the way up? Yep. Okay. Oh man, look at all them points. Bloop -a -bloop. It's a very nice interface that they have here. Very simple, but it works. Uh, world design. Cha cha. Cha cha. Yeah, okay. Oof. Get rid of them bugs, guys. Alright, Medic Man and Future Quest is at our medium sized booth. So not as big a numbers because we have a smaller booth, but you know, that's fine. Gotta do what we can do, you know? Couldn't buy the big one. That's a good number. Eh, we didn't make the top 100. That's the breaks. We got 119 hype. Oh, this, this could be dangerous. Yeah, the Venom Oasis is done. Can we get that up to... 30 with the... Yeah, okay. Release it. We definitely crushed our record for this one. Oof. Look at that. Leveled up, Christopher. Alright. Hopefully this game is good. Yeah, man. I don't know. We can't really afford the staff. Oh, no. Oh, hopefully this will be good. Hopefully it's good. Alright. I can live with an 8. Oh. I don't know though, man. We need this to sell. We need this to be like an awesome game. And it is. Eight, eight, nine, seven. I, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> we always have problems from all games. They're always like, hey, you're gonna poop in your punch bowl. I just love that saying poop in the punch bowl. You know, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Be sure to like, subscribe. And comment in the comment section below. Like us on Facebook, Twitter. You know, feel free to tweet, email me if you have a game suggestion. Uh, in the about section on the YouTube page, that will be that's where you'll find my uh, email. I'm gonna try to start doing Twitch here soon. I don't know. I haven't quite figured out how that's gonna work on my schedule, but we'll try it. So without further ado, I'll say goodbye and keep traveling, folks.